With no sign of any information about Rockstar Games' next title, it's looking likely we'll have to wait a bit longer to hear any real official news from Rockstar on their next installment, which appears to be GTA 6, according to many news sources online. In the meantime, there is something very interesting for all of us GTA fans. According to rumours and leaks, Rockstar Games are remastering old GTA titles for the older GTA fans, this is something that all of us older GTA fans really wanted over the years. Rockstar Games are apparently remastering GTA 3, GTA 5 City and GTA San Andreas. This is known as the GTA Trilogy. Of course there is no official confirmation that this is happening. Rockstar has not made this public and anything we do talk about is coming from reliable news sources. And of course, make sure you do keep on watching the video because there is some rather interesting details about this new upcoming trilogy that Rockstar Games have planned. So make sure you keep on watching. If you could take this time to help out this video by leaving a like, it will seriously support this video a lot. And hey, if you enjoy the video in any way, shape or form, consider subscribing if you're a Rockstar fan. This video is all about the new upcoming trilogy leak that has been going around essentially everywhere on the internet. So if you want to hear any more information on this topic, then my advice is to keep on watching this video and I hope you do enjoy. Although the parent company of Rockstar Games have suggested this could be in fact a real possibility of what's to come. You see, up until recently, modders in the GTA community have put together a lot of map mods involving all the GTA classic maps, but using the GTA 5's Rage engine. So basically, you could play on the old, original GTA San Andreas map, Vice City map, as if you were playing GTA 5. It was absolutely insane, and not to mention the graphics were incredible as well. So over time, a lot more of the community started to really take interest in these map mods and started to download and install these mods just to have fun. And for some strange reason, Take-Two Interactive have only started to claim and strike these mods as illegal. Even though they've been available for the best part of several years and nothing was ever said about it. So it raises a few questions and of course on why is it now all of a sudden a big problem for Take-Two and Rockstar Games. A lot of speculation from the GTA community believes these mods are in direct competition for Take-Two and could potentially stand in the way of sales or even harm their marketing plans for the GTA trilogy. This would explain why Take-Two all of a sudden wants to remove these map mods or graphic mods from the old GTA titles so they can make room for their own twist and redesigns on the classic GTA titles. If this is true, I mean, forget about GTA 6, we don't need that right now. I will happily play the remastered GTA classics. So can we all stop asking for GTA 6 already? Of course we all want GTA 6, but unfortunately, we might not hear of any solid information about GTA 6 until the very least, until next year. This could be why Rockstar Games are remastering the classic GTA titles. Who knows what the real reason is, but if this is true, sure, why not? Because fans always wanted to replay their favorite GTA title and what a way it would give players the chance to play their favorite all-time GTA old classic title mixed with new graphics as well, according to some reports. The most important thing to remember is that these old GTA classics will still have the same old PlayStation 2 style and won't be, in quote, new games. So let's not get that confused or get our hopes up until we see an official trailer from Rockstar or even screenshots of this trilogy. I am honestly so hyped and really excited to hear this news because I've been playing GTA games all of my life 
and I've been very lucky enough to experience playing all of the older GTA classic titles when I was a kid. Especially nowadays there are a lot of younger and newer players thanks to GTA Online but sadly a lot of these people have never ever had a chance to play some of the classic GTA titles or experience great storylines. The biggest question is when can we expect to see this trilogy? As I've said, Rockstar have yet to announce it, but according to many reliable sources, this seems to be what's coming next. Thanks to a game and newest source, Kotaku, which I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with when it comes to speculation about Rockstar games. They said the following. While Kotaku can't confirm what all of those teased remastered titles specifically are, we can confirm via corroborating details from three sources that GTA remasters are currently in the final stages of development. So not only are Kotaku reporting this, but they have three legitimate inside reliable sources who said Rockstar Games are working on a GTA trilogy. I can understand if it was one source reporting this rumor, but it's three different sources who have a track record of pre-releasing information on future updates that came to both GTA Online and Red Dead Online. According to Kotaku, the trilogy was originally planned to be a thank you gift from Rockstar if you purchased the newly released version of GTA 5 on next generation consoles. This was their original plan, I'm guessing, that Rockstar Games had lined up, but now it seems Rockstar Games will be releasing the trilogy in October or November according to reports from Kotaku. They have also said we can expect the trilogy of the GTA remasters to be available to all console players, especially if you still own a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One, it will be made available for the older gen consoles too. Even mobile players and Switch players will also be included as well, so everybody can experience the newly remastered classic GTA titles. As usual, you can take this information however way you want. I mean, I'm just here reporting this information, even though a lot of you guys probably already heard this by now. But hey, it is something very interesting and it's something that a lot of the GTA fans really want. You can either agree or disagree with this topic because I know a lot of people will be like, hey man, that's just rumors, you know, we don't know anything until Rockstar confirms it. And yes, that is true. But also, on the other hand, we have a reliable source who also have free reliable sources who also get insider information from Rockstar Games. We have to kind of weigh the balance here and honestly, I would almost bet my life that Rockstar Games are 100% working on a GTA Remastered. But also, Rockstar Games have also confirmed in October we will be receiving some special gifts and also surprises as well because Rockstar Games will be celebrating the GTA 3 anniversary. So we have a lot to look forward to in October. So yeah, I personally believe this is true and it's probably Rockstar's main priority as well as focusing on the next gen version of GTA 5. If you have also taken notice as well, Rockstar Games have slowed down updates on Red Dead Online. So I don't think it's a coincidence. Only time will tell over the coming weeks and months on what's to come from Rockstar. But I would 100% bet that Rockstar Games over the next while will give us some information or even a trailer revealing this unannounced trilogy of the GTA remasters. With that being said, I do thank you so much for watching and sticking around on this video if you made it this far into the video of course because we're about to finish the video. So if you did make it this far, I do thank you all so much for the love and support. And of course, if you want to subscribe, it is free. The option is yours. You can click on the subscribe button. And of course, I will be making videos whenever there is new topics to talk about. If you don't want to miss out, you can either subscribe here or you can go watch somebody else's videos. But hey, you know, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel because why not? <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next video.